can't believe that we're here. I'm literally giddy with excitement. The view from the end of this looks like it's going to be unreal. <laughs> ah, you failed. <laughs> Seven man. The sun's not even come out. You know when you're waking up before the sun, the sun's going wrong. Let's go. So the spot got much busier last night. But we're leaving before you because we're cheapskates. Yeah boy. Good morning guys, we have had a very exciting morning so far, it's 25 past 7 and we have just arrived in the Pico de Europa, Picos de Europa and there's a cat looking at me right now, hey mate, um, yeah and we've just done the drive up, we didn't know what we were going to get but oh my god we could not have got a better drive, it like insane. It was really foggy down this morning when it was, and it was dark, but it's completely blown our minds off. We're at the lakes of Covadonga. I believe this is the first lake that we're in front of right now. But yeah, I can still see the moon. The sun's rising the opposite side. And we were l so lucky that we got space as this car park is suddenly just so packed. But yeah. I can't believe that we're here. I'm literally giddy with excitement. So cool, so cool. We got here for, I think it's about 20 past seven. But I highly recommend coming up early. As soon as the sun starts to, as soon as it starts to get a little bit light, I really recommend coming up and getting this park up. I mean, to have the views like that, just from parking up is crazy. So yeah, just get here early. It's just got told off for flying this drone. So, <laughs> there's like. We literally people... couldn't have got here any later, could like. No, we cut it so fine then. It's probably like the second to last space that was here. Oh. Two and a half hours. Did you say about drones anywhere? No, it actually doesn't. No. Yeah, I never read that you couldn't fly drones. Before. She just went mm, some sort of Spanish and I had no clue what she said. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm puffed already. I need to get fitter. <laughs> the view from the end of this looks like it's going to be unreal. I mean, it's already an arse now. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
Yeah. What? Even just a view behind. It's amazing. It's so amazing. I don't know if you can see, but there's a trail of people coming up at, see that. as the other car park is like just over that lip there and it's already getting very busy. Very, very busy yeah but we're glad that we parked at the other one as well because then we got to just see that them amazing views and that this is where all these will be heading there is still space at this car park so i wouldn't stress too much about getting up here at the break of dawn if you don't want to see sunset Sunrise. Sunrise. You're Still stupid. Early. You're stupid. You're. I'm surprised you didn't shake it out of you then. It nearly did fall out. Oh. So we're currently sat like absolute weirdos waiting for the toilets to open. As although the information centre opens at half eight, the toilets open at nine. We've still got ten minutes. How are you holding up, Mitch? Oh, you should get in the crown jewels ready or something. <laughs> ridiculous. Jesus Christ. This must be the most secure toilet in the entire world. <laughs> I think you're just feeling a little bit dramatic. It's not. It says it's open at nine o'clock. It's two minutes past. <laughs> it's open. You just can't go in now. How'd you feel? Honestly, that was the, the most desperate I've ever been in my life. <laughs> right, well a massive bus of people has just arrived now. I wonder if the cows realise that they're in somewhere beautiful. <laughs> like, chuck them in Stoke in a the field there. I wonder if they'll be as happy as they are here. It's like an old track. Ooh. This is... This will take forever. I'm going to break my ankle again. Oh, I've got to get across this one. Oh my god. Oh, I failed. I feel like I'm on the scene of Polar Express where they have to go across the train track. Do you reckon you're going to cross it? <laughs> ah, you failed. Ah, you're going to redeem yourself. <laughs> All right, okay, so if that was 100 metres down, you would have just killed me. Oh, yeah, I would have, I would have been dead. No, you would have killed me because you pushed me off. Oops. As if this is the way through. Oh, this is good. So, I mean, someone built this, and this would have been just bare hands and normal tools. Well, what do we build with now? Not normal tools. No, like electric tools, like power oh. tools. This would have just been hand tools. It even like smells like old. Oh, that's a mine. Mine, that's death. I always feel so small with things like this. You feel small. That puts it into perspective a bit. We're only half the altitude that we were when we were at the top on that last hike. Wow. We're back. What? Yeah. No, we're not. We are. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Well, that was a very quick walk. You couldn't have done the full route, surely. We followed it. You can't have really done see. that then. It says on the old trails one that it was two hours worth of walking. 
Oh, so we need to walk that way. We walked up there and round and round there. So straight as soon as we started, we went the wrong way. We meant to go up yeah. here instead of up there. But we wouldn't have got them views It's when, this, when it was quiet. Yeah, true. So we, we did it on purpose. Yeah. So it's down here instead. But I'm kind of glad we did it that way round now because that view we got. And now this looks really nice to the sun. And we wouldn't, you wouldn't have had um, the toilet to go to. No. <laughs> I'd have been joining the cars. Oh. This view is rather exquisite. Isn't it just? as well what? how they've got side facing eyes and obviously we're got front oh facing yeah because we're yeah. mainly a predator and their prey and look he can just see us now yeah still give me that side eye <laughs> i wish i could see that far behind <laughs> that is the cutest thing i've ever seen Aww. i love my dogs Proper dog, guys. I would like to see somewhere like this with some snow. Yeah. Like this... In the winter time. I just don't know how well they keep the roads for driving up here. Yeah. Like far van would be okay. But then you've got like Norway and places like that where. Yeah, well, that's real, real hot country. Well, I don't know if the van would do. I'm ready for lunch. We made it after the second attempt. Yeah, that was a nice walk though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was really nice and easy. Yeah. Really well kitted out. We've done it. We're done. <laughs> it's not like it's a big accomplishment. I mean. We're really happy we got here when we did, like it is... Yeah, it's getting it, really busy now. It's busy now. But so if you're going to do it, and you've got your own car, definitely come up before the buses can get a spot. Yeah, definitely. Worth it. 100%. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights 